What is going on guys, it is Nyx here, and welcome back to another devlog. Now today I have a few things to update you guys on what's going on with the game and the current status of the dev branch, and we'll get into those here in a second. But before we do, I'll give you guys a little update on the Cook Mogul. Now I did promise that I would update you guys with some sort of visual which I will pop up on the screen for you guys, hopefully in editing if I don't forget. Um, of the current status of the Cook Mogul and it's being remodeled. So the model is completely done. There's a few different um, smokestacks that are available as well that have been done with the model, as well as one or two different headlights. So you guys will have those as options moving forward. With that said, it should be hopefully within the next week implemented into the dev branch. So fingers crossed, I'll be able to show you guys it actually on the game, or rather in the game, sorry, in full motion. With that said, another thing that has been updated in this is relative speeds for the actual engine. So the Glenbrook here, which we are standing next to, will be able to go 25 miles per hour now on the new spline. So we'll go and show you guys that. As well as another fun little implementation has been done, which is cutoff simulation. So I am just full disclosure, no train historian by any means or knowledgeable that much on trains. So I will try to explain this as best as I can for everybody. So with that said, uh, what will happen is now that the reverser has a little bit more of a dynamic to it. So your regulator and reverser will be two of the things that you will be operating in hand when moving these locomotives in game. So with that said, to get the engine started, you will have to have the reverser in either full back, sorry, that's full back, my bad, or fully forward. So we'll go and get this started for you guys. And we'll pull the regulator all the way open just for an example. So as you guys can see, the engine is not going all that fast, even with the regulator fully open and the reverser fully forward. This is because of the new cutoff simulation. So with that said, if you pull the reverser back now after the engine has been started, you guys can see that the engine is now speeding up. So we'll go and throw this guy as close to the center. Now, I do not have a UI that pops up for percentages on the regulator, so I'm going to eyeball it here. And I'm going to say that's within 5% of what the top speed would be. So you guys can see this is now moving quite fast, and we got the whole consist behind us of the six rolling sock and the bobber caboose. So I'll be showing you guys that. And it does look very beautiful very smoothly running and again if we go and throw this all the way forward again you'll notice that the engine will slow down now the trade-off here is power versus speed so if you want more power you want to have the regulator either fully forward or fully back depending on the direction you're going if you want more speed then you want the regulator as close oh sorry reverser <laughs> The reverser, which is the handle we're talking about here, not the, not you, Cylinder Cox, I'm not talking about you. Uh, but sorry, the reverser, correction there. The reverser, if you want to have more speed, you keep it more towards the middle. And if you want to have more power, then you throw it towards the end of its bar or the end of its range. So either fully forward or fully back. So we'll go and give this a little bit of run here. And you guys can see this thing I keep hitting it it's because of the single click interactions I'm um, we're gonna get that changed hopefully or the hitbox adjusted because even that's driving me nuts so I've got this about all the way up for right now we'll go and run through some splines here some of the stuff that I've made and uh, we'll see you guys in a little bit here All right, so we're back here and we're approaching a hill that I have. This is about 2%, so it's nothing too crazy. But as you guys can see, the engine is slowing down. And again, the regulator is towards the middle for speed and not the forward part for power. So as you guys can see, the Glenbrook did not make it up even the first part of this hill. So we'll go ahead and throw the reverser all the way forward again. We'll give this a full stop real quick. And even you guys can see that it was even having enough power to go against its own brake. So now we're going back up the hill with the um, 
reverser all the way forward. However, you guys do see that it is rather slow. So this will have to be a fine tooth of adjustment as well as you guys getting used to your own grades and railroads. So with that said, if you put the reverser somewhere towards the middle here, between the middle point of neutral and all the way forward, you can gain a little bit of speed back and still keep the power that you need to go up the hill. So I am trying to find a, a middle ground here. Sometimes it's hard. I was able, do I have this? Yeah, that's all the way off. Okay. But you guys can see that's picking up speed. So I did find a nice little middle ground there. So this will kind of encourage you guys to more or less um, adjust on the fly, if you will. So this will be a little bit more dynamic in terms of gameplay for you guys and the different engines. And all the engines will have this moving forward. So you will have to get adjusted for each individual engine and choose wisely for which engine you use per task. A few other fun small things that have been changed. Um, and this goes for you all that had feedback on this. But the hitboxes for the stakes here on the flat, as well as the back piece for the cordwood car, have been removed. So there's no longer hitboxes that will bug you. You guys can fly right through there. As you guys can see, I'm just running straight through these. Now, obviously, other cars like the uh, box car, which I just magically phased myself through. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, as you guys can see, um, still a few interesting things happening. I'll have to report that one. That's the first time I've seen that. But here we are back on top of the hill. And if I put this back more towards neutral, you guys will see that the engine is picking up speed. So, there you guys have it. That is, unfortunately, today's devlog. It's a little bit shorter. Um, for a few other small things... Like I said, the Cook Mogul is in progress still, and it will be hopefully finished within the next week. Uh, that is just my personal um, kind of estimate on that, so fingers crossed that I'm right on that, and it'll be done in the next week, and I'll have it in game for you guys to see, as well as hopefully have a few other changes that have been made as well. But with that said, guys, thank you so much for watching, and again, I'm sorry that I do not have a expected release yet for the next beta again we are still working on making sure everything is in the right place and working properly before we properly sorry english before we introduce the next beta into the game um a number of bugs have been crushed as i've been told and i haven't gone through the list yet to check them but you guys haven't really seen all of them either so i won't bore you guys with that but with that said again guys thank you so much for watching it has been a pleasure and until next time i please please enjoy